In this video, I am going to show you how to set up virtual microtic firewall. In this purpose, we require minimum 2 LAN guard 4 VM. Because one is we are allocating to the WAN and another one is we are allocating to the LAN. While loading the OVA file of Microtik, we will get only one LAN card settings. First, we need to download the OVA file from Microtik sites. In the video description, I have attached Microtik OVA file download location. Here, I am already extracted OVA file and Winbox. Winbox is using to access the Microtik for the configuration. It's a client application for accessing the Microtik router. If you want to use this OVA file, there is two options. One is we can directly double click the OVA file or we can import the OVA file from VMware workstation. Here I am using import option from VMware workstation. Open the VMware workstation, then press open button, then select the OVA file. Once after selecting open the file. If you want to change the name of virtual machine, we can change. And if you want to use the same location for virtual machine, we can use the same location. Otherwise, we can use the different location for deploying the virtual machine. Once after selecting the location, use the import button to import the OVA file. Once we press the import button, it will start to import the virtual machine. Now, the virtual machine importing is finished. If you want to power on the virtual machine, we can power on. If you want to edit the virtual machine settings, we can edit. Here you can see only one network LAN card. In our purpose, we require two LAN card. One is for WAN and another one is for LAN. Here we are having only one LAN card. Later we can add the one more LAN port. If you want to change the memory, we can change the memory. If you want to increase the processor, you can increase the processor. Here I am using everything as default. Now I am starting the virtual machine. We are able to see the virtual machines are loading. Once after loading the Microtik VM, we are able to log in. Default username is admin, password is blank. Here we need to confirm the software license. Please press the Y button for confirming the software license. Then it will ask the password change. We need to enter the new password and we need to confirm the new password again. Now we have changed the password and we could log in with the Microtik. Now we will need to set the IP in LAN port for the configuration. First, we need to add one more LAN port for the WAN connection. First, we need to shut down this Microtik router. For that purpose, we need to use system shutdown command. Then press the enter, confirm with the yes. Then edit the virtual machine and we are able to add one more LAN adapter. Here I am adding one more LAN adapter for WAN connection. And you always use bridged connection. Here we have added two LAN port. One is for WAN. Another one is for LAN. Then press the OK button. Then start the virtual machine. Once after login, we need to enter the username and password. If you want to see the interfaces, we can type slash interface print. This is a command we are using to see the interface. For the IP configuration, we need to enter IP address, then add, then address equal to 192.168.0.1 and slash 24 interface then type the interface which one we require interface ethernet 1 if you enter that command the ip address will set on interface 1 now we need to change the ip of the physical machine for testing the access first we need to set the ip same as the microtic lan range here i am manually adding the ip for lan port we can check the pinging with the IP. The IP is pinging. That means the Microtik system is configured the IP. For accessing the Microtik router, we required Vimbox application. Here I am running with the Vimbox application. Allow the appropriate firewall settings for accessing the Microtik firewall. Then enter the IP of Microtik. Then username and password for the same. Once after, we can press the connect button. Here we can see Microtik router has been logged We could able to access the Microtik router. From the interface, we can see the interfaces we have added. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.